What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. This is gonna be a video on basically another tip on competitive programming. And I think this is gonna be a controversial one because some people don't like to do th this type of thing. But I think that this would actually help you a lot, especially for people like me who are like stuck on like maybe a certain level or something. I think people should resolve problems. And I know it's kind of sound strange and weird that you should resolve a problem, but let's take a look at one of the previous contests. So one of the previous contests, Array and Peaks, right? I solved the first one. It, it wasn't that bad, right? I just said it, it wasn't that bad. I got AC for that. Now, the second problem, I had a huge tr trouble with this. Like it was, it was super tough for me. And I was able to, um, I think I got like a ton of wrongs here. So many wrong answers. Um, this is after the contest. I was trying to upsolve it so much, but I couldn't solve it in the end. Right. Um, so what I do, I looked at the editorial and I just tried to, and then I just like try to code it up and then I got a seed. Right. But now looking back at it, I'm not a hundred percent sure I could resolve this problem again. So like, Here's the thing is that if you just looked at the editorial, code it up and then submit it, you might not actually be able to solve this problem again, right? Like if the, if you, if you can't resolve the same problem, then what was the point of solving it in the first place? You didn't actually solve it, right? You relied on the editorial, right? So you don't actually remember how do you do it with the editorial. So to me, I think it's actually good if you just resolve problems. Cause I'm pretty sure like out of all the problems I've been doing, if you look at my code forces visualizer, I might act, I'm going to start actually resolving all the previous problems. Cause look at this I've done. Okay. So 800, I don't really care about that. Uh, 900, I did 64, 900. Okay. So I did, I did like 31, 1400 problems, right? I'm pretty sure I can't resolve 14, these, these four 31, 1400 problems. Like after I did this like a month, months ago, I'm not sure if I actually could resolve it. So what I'm planning on doing is actually just resolving all the problems that I couldn't have solved before. So if you look at this, like my ranking is like what? 1100, about 1100 ish. So I'm planning on just, just for 1300 problems. I'm going to try to resolve all the ones that I couldn't solve and the 1400 ones. I'll try to resolve those also. So basically I'm just going to resolve all the problems for 1300, 1400 and then 1500. So even though like, uh, cause I I've, I've solved a total of like 600 problems already. And most of those are, uh, division two a actually, but anyway, yeah. So if, if what I'm thinking is like, if I were to actually like try the problems again and try solving them again, and then I actually do end up solving them, I probably would have, uh, it would. I would probably be able to get to green. Like I'm actually very close up to green. So this is the, this is a tip to like the people who have, who are also stuck on a, a certain level. And after solving a lot of problems, they still haven't progressed enough. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all the problems that I previously solved and try to solve them. Cause like it really doesn't make much sense if I just keep going on um, problem sets. Right. And then just like search up like, I don't know, 1400 keep doing these 1400 problems, but then not being able to solve them and looking at the editorial, then just getting a seed and then not actually being able to solve it again. Right. At that point, you're just padding the number of problems you got on a seed, which, which really doesn't matter. Right. The number of problems you solved that to get a seed on your account, like I got 608, right. This really doesn't matter because, well, first of all, 200 of them were problems of level 800 and 900 because I was increasing my speed for that. And like, I don't know, like another 200 was just like, uh, let's see. Yeah. Another 200 was like a thousand level, a thousand and 900. So a lot of these problems, I'm not sure if I actually would be able to resolve them. So in order to practice, I think I'm going to try resolving problems without looking at the editorial. Cause I think that would, that's actually the best way to improve. Right, because you can't rely on the editorial again every single time when you're doing competitive programming. You have to try to like rethink it yourself. Try to rethink the problems again yourself. But yeah, I digress. That's pretty much the gist of it. I hope you guys enjoy this tip. 
I, I personally, I think this is a good tip though. Re, why you definitely should resolve problems. But yeah, break, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.